Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It is time for another uh, allergy enhanced in <laughs> edition of seven minutes in the morning. Stay tuned. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It's Monday morning. It's uh, a little sunny outside, so it's a great day, right? That's right. Bright, shiny Monday, Monday morning. My name's Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Where you get your daily dose for me is the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. As I said in the open, a little bit of allergy-enhanced uh, edition this morning going on, but that's okay. Abby says she feels my pain. <laughs> <coughs> I tell you, the um, we had to take a quick trip down to Florida for some family business, and man, whew. anyway. They've got different pollen down there. It'll mess with you. So uh, anyway, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, what, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, Instagram, whatever your venue happens to be, be sure and leave a comment, say hi, say good morning. Let me know that you're there. If and only if you gain value from our conversation this morning, be sure and leave a like, a comment, a thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching. And uh, good morning to Keith and Joe as well. You guys are awesome. All right, so <clears throat> I titled this morning's episode Planning Schmanning. We don't need no planning. Um, and I think that's going to be our theme most of the week this week, I think, because I, I have planned it. Therefore, I think that's what we're going to talk about. Um, but the, the quote that I wanted to base us off of today comes from uh, General Eisenhower. Many of you who have listened to the show for a while have heard this probably more than once. And it goes something like this. Plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. The whole point here being <clears throat> having a plan is important mainly because you have to go through the planning process in order to have a plan. Now, why is uh, wh why all of this happens, we'll talk about as we go through the week. But what I really want to focus on today is that a lot of people will tell me, yeah, I tried to do a plan, but, e you know, it, it didn't work out. So I'm just going to do, you know, whatever. Or the best one, uh, when talking to business owners and things are not going the way they wanted or, or expected, like, well, have you done a business plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did one uh, a couple of years ago. It, it, let me find it. It's in this, it's in this filing cabinet somewhere. And the, the whole point of having it is lost on them. So what I want to really focus on today, give you this, this thought as you go through the day. The plan itself is not nearly as valuable as the planning process. Right. When we plan, we think about, OK, what's the outcome we want to create? We, we work backwards. How do we create that? These are the projects we need to do. These are the steps we need to take. And now we know what to move forward on. That's the plan. But many people look at that as, well, that's cast in stone. If that doesn't happen, then the plan failed. No, the plan didn't fail. Circumstances changed. Happens all the time. You're driving to work. This morning, tomorrow morning, driving home, the route you were planning on taking, there's an accident, there's a bridge out, there's construction, there's whatever. You have to change your plans. Does that mean your trip home failed? No. You just took a different route. <coughs> so don't be, don't throw away the whole plan just because, you know, something had to change. The reason that planning is so valuable is because it allows us to think through those possible changes and what they mean ahead of time. If we can think through them ahead of time, then we have some idea when that change occurs that, you know, what we need to do in order to accommodate. Great example, yesterday when we were coming back, on our way back we had stopped and uh, spent the night in Tifton, Georgia. 
We got up yesterday, we're checking the weather, and the plan was to come straight up 75 and then cut over and be back home. Except the weather was not conducive to that. If we had driven straight up 75, we would have been in weather all day long. And, and some of it, strong weather. Well, that was not um, preferred by any of us, so we took a change of plans. And yet here we are. We still made it home, right? We say, okay, this is the route we're going to take, but if this happens, we'll go this way. If that happens, we'll go that way, right? By thinking through what those possible outcomes are, we have the opportunity to uh, adapt when faced with changes, all right? So that's really it. So tell me what you think. Are you a planner? Do you like plans? Do you plan in detail or just great big picture? Well, we'll uh, we'll go north and then turn left, right? That's big picture planning. <coughs> More detailed planning is uh, this exit by this hour so we can eat at this restaurant. There are people that do that. Which one are you? Let me know in the comments. And uh, tell me what you think about the value of planning. Is it valuable? Is it something that uh, that we should do on a regular basis? Or should we just kind of fly by the seat of our pants and see what happens? All of that and more coming up this week as we continue to talk about planning, how to make a plan, keep a plan, and make plans happen. That's the big picture for the week. You guys have a fantastic Monday. Remember, if you got any value at all out of our conversation today, give the old thumbs up, hearts, likes. Uh, all of those things are awesome and appreciated. Love you guys. Talk to you again in the morning. Until then, you have a great day. Take care. <laughs>